Good day, everyone. How are we doing? A quick one. I came with this uh, news. Well, before I go to this mobile uh, updates, I want us to listen very carefully, especially if you are a prophet, Nigerian pastors. I want to talk about you. When I say pastors, doesn't mean it's all the pastors, but there are S behind it because there are more of them that are giving prophecy. Let me tell you one advice I want to advise you is that sometimes God give you vision. Doesn't mean that all visions are fake. God gave you vision for a reason because he knows you are capable of handling it. But coming to the hair and be shouting, hey, this is how it is, this is how it is uh, during the time of uh, campaign for the election, presidential, presidential election. What goes wrong a, a lot? We were just saying to Nibu, we will not, Nibu, we know we not, Nibu, we will be, we will not. They will even for, almost forget our article. People were just saying, Tunibu will not win. Pro a lot of prophecy that Tunibu will not win. That Tunibu will even die before that day. If eventually Tunibu win, they will not swear him, him in. Okay, do you remember when God himself spoke with Isaiah? Go and read your Bible. Isaiah 38, 1 to 21. You will find it there. When he spoke to Isaiah, go and tell Hezekiah. Hezekiah was very sick. That means he's at the point of death. Tunibu was not even sick. You are declaring him dead. Uh, God sent Isaiah to go and tell him that he's going to die. What did he do? He went to his closet and he cried to God. And God had additional 15 years to his age. Do you know what is 15 years? Compared to someone that is going to die today. Okay, you are declaring Tunibu dead. Do you think Tunibu will go and sit down and fold his hand to go? Till he went to grave, he will just fold his hands and be watching. He went up going to cry God and cried also. Or he go to whatever he's having to cry to God, to his God. And add another years to his age. There are some things, some vision God will give to you that you will just go to your closet and talk to God yourself. You will just pray for it yourself, not bringing it to her. Everyone is a seer. But not everything you bring to the hair. Ah, God say, God say, God say. We all know say, God say. If you are saying God say, say what God says in the Bible. If it is the revelation God is giving to you, you bring it to the hair. Believe me, there are people that are stronger than you that will change it and manipulate it. It won't it would even come to pass. The video saw that, hey, the next pregnancy in a twist, so God has shown to me it's twist. Why are we doing this to ourselves? We are making Christianity look like a scam. That is a false religion. Your Christ is his calm. Must you say it out? Go to your closet, pray to read, pray to God. God, this vision you give to me, let it come to pass. He's twins so now, waiting to happen. He born one. That twins. This is exactly what is happening right now again. This poor boy, this is not innocent boy. I don't know him anyway, but the as a mother, you must always feel for such people, for such such things. I feel his pain. I feel the pains of the parents. And I pray that may he so rest in peace. But whatever it is, there is a new update that said he has son somewhere. I just pray that that child become his. So that he will know he leave a legacy somewhere. And he leave, left a child behind. And he's already a hero. Glory be to God for that. And uh, I'm just, just using this medium to advise our young, young upcoming children. You want to become a star. It's not a must. You have to belong. It's not a must. If it is the will of God for you, it will surely come to pass. Don't go and belong. Don't go and put your hands. In the, this, there is a proverb that said, if you want to eat with die with the devil, you, you have to use a long spoon. You know, if you did not commit sin, I, I strongly have the belief that such thing will be very difficult to come your way. Because sin will make it faster. You already belong. What do you expect? The result of sin is death. And I believe anyone that kills anyone will surely go one day. No one comes to this world to stay. You don't win by killing someone. No. You call yourself a winner because you kill someone. You are the, you are the big, biggest loser. Because the place you send that person, you are definitely going there one day. Please, our young upcoming actors, artists, I beg you in the name of God, work. Good work pace. You are not famous. You are not blowing. Where do you want to take the money to? Is it not this earth you spend it? You make the money and you die the next day. Is that what you want? You'd want it. You go, okay, you have enjoyed your life. What about the people you left behind? Did you think about them? 
the pains and you are, you are going to make them go through like as we all are going through pains because of this boy please please it's time we start living righteous life because you live a good life on this earth you don't know where you're going to spend your eternity i'm not i don't mean to make a long video this time i just did as it is that's why i that's why i just want to pour it out that we should just keep praying for the family and we should just keep praying for the truth to re be revealed sometimes god allows some things to happen so that he can reveal some things that is what i just think is happening right now I pray that God gave the family the fortune to bear this loss and I pray that God rest the boy soul and I pray that the children he left behind, God raised a happy hand for them to take care of them to their standard level. And I don't pray for the children to carry the footstep of this boy also because you, you go there, you belong before those things started to happen to you. So I pray God crown everyone's effort in Jesus' name. And once again, I just uh, pray that this advice goes round to every young ones coming up. Please, good work, pace, be consistent with what you are doing. Focus, pray hard, talk to God, go close to God, put your work, your things together. Be, bring the best of what you do and you will see the world will run after you. Not you running, chasing the crowd, the crowd will chase after you. God help us in Jesus' name.